Hey, howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now where I go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink the stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you need to know all about the stuff and the things that has to do with the consumption with the mouth and things. Of the food and drink variety. Other stuff, that's, that's on y'all, folks. I'm not going down that path. Not for all the views in the world. But anyway, folks, I go over there, I try out food stuff, I talk about it, that's the gist of the show. Follow my show for a while, why would you do that, but you might. I'm in the truck, if I'm in the truck, then that means that I was out doing something somewhere and I found an item to review, decided to do a review in the truck. Today's no different. So folks, what am I reviewing for y'all today? Well folks, shabam! Yeah, focus. It's the Mystery Flavor Mountain Dew Voodoo 2021 Edition. That's a whole lot of things. Um, yeah, for anyone who might not be aware, Voodoo uh, was a thing I think it was started up about maybe two years ago that Mountain Dew started doing, where it's always this color, but it's uh, you know it's uh, a limited edition flavor. You know they don't reveal what the flavor is. It's meant to kind of tie into Halloween, be a little bit spooky. The time I'm doing this, we're not quite in September yet. So, you know, we still got a little ways to go, but I'm not unhappy to see it. So, um, now that said, like I said, it came out two years ago. And if you've followed the show for a while, which nobody has, but if you had, you know that I already did Mountain Dew Voodoo. So why am I doing it again? Well, folks, I have a theory. See, the first year that Mountain Dew Voodoo came out, when I tried it, and that was way before I was doing videos, my general takeaway was it was sort of like cotton candy flavored. Uh, I've been told that it was supposed to be like candy corn flavored. Last year when it came out, the general consensus that I had for it and that uh, you know a couple people I talked to had was that it tasted basically like Skittles. So that got me wondering, well, okay, was it the case that it tasted like Skittles the first time around and maybe I didn't identify that flavor? Or was the original run a different flavor? So with the fact that they're calling this, specifically it has the thing here where it's limited edition 2021, my thought is that it might be the case that this is going to be a different flavor from the one in 2020. Maybe. I can't say for certain until I try it, but that's my thought process on this. So when I saw this show back up, I bought a few of them because I was like, yeah, you know, even if it's not a different flavor, you know, it only comes around once a year, so I might as well grab a few. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a shot, this, this spooky voodoo. Another thing here, folks... Yeah, it's interesting. Okay. I just noticed this. If you look on the thing, we got a grim look, reaper looking motherfucker here. Holding up three fingers. And then, next to him... Let's see if it'll focus. Might not focus. Focus. I can't make it focus very well. Well, okay, whatever. Right there, there's a little headstone with the number three on it. He thinks that this is going to be a different flavor. But we'll give it a shot, folks. We're going to see how it goes. And there's a little spider in the thing. Ooh, there's a lot of threes. Yeah. There's a pumpkin with a three. There's a whole bunch of threes. Yeah, man. They're pressing the fact that this is number three. So let's give it a shot, folks. Contains 0% juice. You don't fucking say. Really, the best before on this is November 22nd of... 2021. That actually seems like really way too early for Mountain Dew. Like, I would think that Mountain Dew would just kind of last forever like fucking they say Twinkies are supposed to. Which they don't, but... Sorry, my nose is a little bit clogged up. I will say this right now. That, to me, does not smell like fucking Skittles. Now, I don't remember if the last one really smelled like Skittles, but this... Right off the bat, has a different vibe to it, from what I recall, from a year ago. So let's try the thing. Hmm.
Huh. That is odd. Well, I'm going to say right now that I feel that my theory is correct. This to me does not taste at all like Skittles. Nor does it taste like cotton candy or candy corn, or whatever the hell the first one was supposed to be. This tastes different from the other two. Now, mind you, maybe that's just my own personal bias. Obviously, I don't have them right next to each other to compare. But this, to me, tastes different from what I recall the other ones tasting like. Like I said, I'm not getting Skittles or anything familiar from, uh, from this one. So what am I getting? Almost like a... Like, almost like maybe a... And I'm not saying that this is the flavor. This is just kind of how I'm taking it. Almost like a berry cream soda kind of thing. Um... That is really weird. It does taste somewhat familiar, but I can't think of what. I'm wondering if it's, again, you know, kind of like with the Skittles thing, I wonder if it's maybe like a candy flavor. Um, problem is, is that I, I usually eat mostly like the, you know, like chocolate oriented candies, not like uh, fruit flavor candies. So, but it does taste kind of familiar. Like the, the feel of it, I know that sounds weird, but different sodas definitely have a different feel when they're in your mouth. The feel of it reminds me of sort of like a cream soda. Um, it has sort of a, a little bit of a bite, but there's kind of like a, kind of like a smoothness to the carbonation, but the carbonation is still present. And again, that's that's hard to sort of describe, but like, like comparing it to root beer, root beer for me, most root beers anyway, the carbonation has like an edge to it. And then it sort of gives a little bit of a smoothness to, you know, kind of as you're drinking it to kind of take you down. Um, whereas with cream soda, and I, and I really like cream soda, I haven't had it in a while, but cream soda to me, like the, the way the carbonation plays with the soda and stuff, it's a different experience. And it's sort of a, you know, kind of a creaminess throughout. But there's still that, that carbonation factor there. And I know that's like super weird to say, but like, try some cream soda. Feel the cream soda. <laughs> maybe it'll maybe go with what the hell I'm talking with. Um... So it, it kind of has a similar feel to it. And it's weird because initially it's sort of a mellow flavor. It just tastes kind of sweet. And then it sort of hits a point and it dials back. And there's sort of a fruitiness to it. But it's also different, too. Like, it's not... I know I said, like, a berry cream soda. There's a little bit of a tartness to it. Not a, not a huge amount. Um, but I don't think berry is the right... I don't think berry is the right thing. Maybe like Airheads? Maybe? Like I haven't had Airheads in a long ass time. There, like, there was a weird little thing when I was probably in like, early middle school where like early, Airheads became like a bit of a trend. And that was really like the first time I had it. Um, 
and I, it's not a go-to thing for me. But yeah, maybe that's kind of what I'm going with here. Like maybe the because Airheads, I, I believe they still have it. They have like their own mystery flavor. Maybe that's what this is kind of trying to emulate. Problem is, it's been so long since I've had it. That is really weird. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could go over there and say, like, hey, I think it's this flavor. I really don't know. If, to me, it's not familiar enough. There's, it's something there. Like, my brain has a recollection of what it's tasting. But it's either subdued in such, to such an extent uh, that it's different enough that I just, I can't quite work it out. Or conversely, it's something that I haven't, haven't had in such a long time that I just, I can't quite grasp it. It's a really weird aftertaste. Yeah. I don't know. I, um, I mean, yeah, like I said, I wish I could say, you know, I could give you a definitive uh, feel on what I think the flavor is, but I really can't. I just, I don't have enough to grasp onto. So, I mean, as an overall drinking experience, being what it is, um, it's okay. It's... Like, the Voodoo's have never been my favorite Mountain Dews, like, not by a long shot. They're always sort of odd tasting. But they're cool as, like, a novelty thing. You know, again, like, once a year type of thing. Um, in that regard, it's perfectly fine. I, I, you know, if you're somebody who's super jones in for the Voodoo to come back, I mean, obviously, at least, at least to me, it seems like it's a different flavor than last year. Uh, so you're probably going to be disappointed if that's what you're looking for because it does appear to be a different flavor. Um, but like just as a Mountain Dew, yeah, it's it's an interesting, it's not bad, but it's, it's not bad, but it's not, it's just, it's too unusual in its flavor profile, in my opinion, um, for it to be something that I would want, you know, on the regular or anything like that. Whereas like something like Classic Mountain Dew, you know, Code Red, Pitch Black is my personal favorite. You're like, keep freaking taking it away from me. Um, those I think are really solid as drinks. You know, they have a refreshing aspect to them. Uh, you know, even if they are sweet and loaded with crap that shouldn't be in your body with this I don't I don't get that same experience and part of me wants to give it to it like well you know it's a new flavor and you know you got to get used to it I'm sure if I did that would be the case but I know like with like code red or live wire like even when those first came out I was instantly like, these are awesome, you know, like, these are fantastic, I want to drink these. With this, I mean, I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to finish the other ones that I have, and I'll do so, you know, with a certain level of enjoyment, but, again, it's it's more for the novelty aspect, you know, and having it only once, around once a year, versus, uh, again, being, you know, Mountain Dew that I would regularly grab. Still better than Whiteout, because Whiteout is garbage. I've never, and I'm not kidding you, I worked at a gas station. I was the overnight guy for seven years. We carried white out. I do not think in seven years I ever saw anybody buy white out. I'm not saying it didn't happen. It probably did. But it was apparently with such little frequency that I, I genuinely can't recall a time. So, Whiteout is trash, man. They need to get rid of that one. Um, I'm sorry if you're a big Whiteout fan, but no. Whiteout is for making, you know, erasing mistakes on paper. Yeah, it's weird. Um, would I recommend it? As a novelty item, absolutely. 
as a standard new flavor, which it's not going to be anyway, no. Uh, like I said, for me, for my personal tastes, I just, I don't think it quite hits the right notes. It's fun, it's fun as a mystery flavor. Like, trying to figure out what the flavor is, that's the fun of the voodoo flavors. Beyond that, though, as, a, you know, again, just within the rainbow of Mountain Dew, it's not, none of them, in my opinion, have been, uh, you know, upper tier flavors. And this, out of the three, I would say is probably the weakest, I'm going to say. Like I said, it's not a bad drink, but, you know... Definitely pick it up, you know, if you're into Mountain Dew or, you know, soft drinks and stuff. Maybe you'll be able, maybe you'll taste and you'll instantly get it. I, I, I just can't quite do it. So I'm just, like I said, I just had to explain the overall experience to it. Um, like I said, not a bad drink, but not really super duper for me. So anyway, folks, that one took a while. Uh, so I'm going to get out of here real quick. If you could do thing, a couple things for me. Try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it. If can't, though, sometimes can't. I know I can't do it all the time. Try not to be an asshole. If you can't put the good stuff out there, don't take it away. And life's difficult enough. If you, you know, if you mess up, you know, it's once in a while, try to mitigate it. Try to mitigate your level of asshole. And uh, other thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. Um, you know, maybe, hey man, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to be the person who comes out next year's mystery flavor. And maybe it'll be a flavor that I actually recognize. And then I can do a review on it if I'm still around in a year's time doing this stuff. And, uh, then I can get the thing and then you can go over there and contact me and be like, I saw your review, it inspired me to be the Mountain Dew flavor person. And thank you so much. And I'll warm my f cold frozen ninja heart. Ninja Robot Heart. There we go. Uh, and then, uh, and then final th five things, folks. Man, I think I got that back. Whatever. Awesome rest of your day. Spend the rest of your week. Phenomenal rest of your month. Amazing rest of your year. You can go over there and have yourselves a spooky rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Bye.